What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my nonsense. I wanted to just do a quick video on this Safer Web website because I've been using that recently to kind of weed through these bullshit companies because a lot of them are bullshit companies and they lie like a fucker, right? And as we know, if you follow my videos, I flew out to get that truck in Salt Lake City. I didn't check into any of this shit and I ended up with a bunch of violations on my PSP report for the next three years because I was operating equipment that fucking was junk right so this is like a little bit of a tool to kind of give you an idea when you're you know searching through the companies because you know how it goes you call them on the phone and they're like oh yeah 65 cents a mile have you home every weekend i'll give you this truck blah blah, blah that crap half the time you don't even get the truck they say you're gonna get and you don't find out what money you're gonna make until you get out of there and they just lie and <laughs> they just freaking lie dude i mean that's all that's all there is to it they just want to get you in the seat and it's getting to be really hard it's a, a real struggle for me and here's kind of how it works you know how to give you an idea on it is you just take the company right this the company just say the company name say it's a uh, swift transport safer web on google it'll pop up you go in here so i got this like crop down right now up here where it says power units you know for this company 58 drivers 55 above that it'll give their address and their dot numbers and all that and you do kind of you know i learned you got to kind of pay attention to that a little bit because there's a lot of trucking companies that have the same name so you'll look and then you're like holy shit or you'll think they're good or whatnot and you really need to make sure it's the one that's in the right city in the right state and everything that you're going to work for this one here for instance like i said 58 power units 55 drivers you get down here on the bottom right and it says 22 inspections um zero percent out of service now this is a company that i worked for for quite a few years um it shows driver 63 driver inspections and zero out of service on drivers so basically what it means is the vehicle would be like vehicle violation inspections and then the driver would be like, you know, your log book or, you know, whatever the driver did wrong as far as failing the inspection. Correct? So this company particularly here, um, they run a really tight ship. Um, they're actually a pretty good company. I probably should stay there. Beautiful trucks. It, I mean, that shit, they polish it. You bring it back, they park it, polish it. It's all, it's pretty top notch. But 0%, that's, that's pretty huge. Now you jump down to the bottom here, it shows they got one fatal. They got one injury crash, three toes. You know, so they do have the one fatal and the one injury, but they can't help that. That's kind of more on the driver thing, right? And I use that kind of as a baseline, the way I ended up doing it to see, you know, can see where it says like the national average is 22%. I really didn't know, you know, I was like, okay, so as long as they're below that, I guess we're good, right? I guess that's kind of what that means. But I wanted to get kind of an idea of like, okay, I worked for this company, let's see what theirs were. I worked for this company. So that way I can base it on what companies I've worked for and I know how they actually work and how their equipment is versus what their score is, right? And so I had something to compare it to. Now you jump on to this one here, right? Uh, 63 power units, 68 drivers up top. Uh, this is the melt place. This is MDT, actually. Um, I worked for them for a long time, so I know how they operate. Now, the last one there, the 0% on that last one, that's just pretty unusual, really. I mean, that's pretty tight. Because MDT here, you know, you see they got 19 inspections, 3 out of service, and that puts them at 15%. For vehicles, you know, the driver inspection is 39 and 0%. So none of the drivers fucked up. Well, this kind of surprises me a little bit on these guys because they're pretty tight on their equipment. I worked there for four years and man, very rarely would I ever find like a bad tire when I picked up a trailer or a federal annual that was out of date, but it did happen. So the amount of equipment, you know, that they have. I guess they would have that. I, I was surprised when I went on here that theirs was that high. But that gives you kind of a baseline, right? Because you know what that company's like. And you can see they got one fatal, three injuries, four toes. 
at the bottom, right? So then you jump into these over here are just companies. Oh, uh, this is one I worked for too. 50 power units, 51 drivers, 85 inspections. They're at a 24%, which is high as hell, really. Uh, that's a lot of inspections though. So this kind of says a lot here, right? You're getting 85 inspections, 21 out of services, man. Now, that's not good, dude. But the fact that they're getting 85 inspections, think about that. That means the pre-pass is pulling them in if they have it. Um, it also means that they're kind of a target that the DOT knows. Like, yo, these guys are always fucking up. So they're doing a lot of inspections. Because if you jump back here a second and go back to MDT, right? Let's look at that. How many inspections? 19. You know what I'm saying? So they're not fucking with them as bad. And then let's go back to the first one that I worked at here. How many inspections on them? 22. Was a 0%. I'm still, I'm still pretty crazy on that one. So yeah, that's, you know, that's starting to look like, yeah, I don't know about that place, man. I don't know if I would call that one off completely. You know, if the pay was good and the run worked out and all that, but it's not looking good. Zero fatals, one injury, and all that you can see down there at the bottom. Now, you get into these are the ones I was looking at recently. Um, 21 trucks. So it's not as many trucks, right, as what they had. They're pulling 21 inspections, 6 out of service, and they got a 28% rating. But that's on 21 trucks, so you're not even maintaining that much equipment. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be different if you had 100 trucks. So it gives you a pretty good baseline, right? And then here's another one that I was looking at recently that I had to go in here. 20 trucks, 9 drivers. Um, I don't think that's all that accurate because I was talking to the guy I'm going to work for now. And they don't really keep track of the drivers that well. But anyway, 12 inspections, 4 out of service. That puts them at 33%. That's, that's pretty high, right? That's enough over there where you're like, man, if I still work for this place, I'm going to be a target and be picking up trailers that are out of inspection and, you know, shit like that. That's going to get you in trouble and you're going to end up with a PSP report that looks like mine. And then you jump into this one here is one I was looking at. And actually that last one that I just did, that's where a friend of mine works. That's why I brought that one up. Now that I think about it, he said it's not terrible over there, but, and he's a pretty strict driver. So that last one is kind of, probably, in my opinion, and his as well, would be like the threshold of where you would want to say, fuck it, I'm not working for this place. Now this one right here, obviously, you just call it off 100%. Because 20 power units, right? 35 inspections, 15 out of service. They're at a 42%, man. That's where you just go, fuck that company, dude. It, I mean, this shit just shows how they run their company, too. If they're running, you know, that many violations and all that, how are they dispatching? How well are they treating you? You know, all that kinds of shit. They're shady. They're shady. So this one here, this is a place that I recently just about went to work for. Now, I see I didn't upload the other one, um... The one where I got all the violations or whatnot, they had like 20 trucks. Theirs was the highest that I ever saw. It was 59%. 59 fucking percent, man. And the national average is 22%. So had I looked into that, I would have never went to work for that company. I would never got ripped off because the guy never paid me. Uh, I would have never went through all that bullshit. I would have never got all them permanent violations. I mean, they're getting ripped off and going through all the bullshit and flying out there and all that's one thing because you can call that spilled milk and say it's over and done and, you know, it's whatever. But holding those violations on my PSP for the next three years is really the problem. So that was a very high one. The highest one. But then this one right here, uh, this is a place I almost went to work for a couple weeks ago. I went over there. I uh, talked to him, it was a dedicated run, so on and so on, right? Everything looked good, it was right up the road from my house. I was going to be home quite often. It, I was thinking it was going to be pretty all right. Uh, there was no trucks there at that point. There was no equipment sitting in the yard when I went over there. I went down and took my drug screen. 
I came back. I knew they didn't really need me to come back, but I was hoping there would be trucks sitting there. So there were trucks there, so I started to kind of wander through the yard a little bit and just look at tires and shit. And right away, I'm seeing fucking bald tires and just a bunch of nonsense. And I'm like, wait, what? How the fuck are you running on this shit? So I went home, and I pulled them up on the Safer Web. Because on this one here, the reason I didn't do it before I went over for the job interview and the drug test is because on the phone, he avoided telling me the name of the company. And they'll do that a lot, especially like the Craigslist companies and shit. I'm not saying all the Craigslist companies, because the one I'm going back to work for right now that I worked for for a long time and I trust, they still advertise on Craigslist. But, you know, he just wouldn't give me the name, so I couldn't check it out. So once I seen that, I was like, well, I better go home and look into this. Now, I was, this was like on a Wednesday, and I was basically, or a Tuesday, and I was basically supposed to start on Friday. Um, I came home, I looked on this, I seen that they had 13 inspections, 7 out of service, and a 53% fucking out of service rating. I was like, oh, hell no. With what I had already saw in the yard, and this right here, I'm like, they're running a bunch of junk over there, man. That guy's shady as fuck. So I called him up and uh, told him I wasn't coming. I never heard nothing back from him either. Uh, he didn't answer his phone, so I ended up texting him. So that's just kind of how shady he was. I mailed his fuel card back to him because I didn't even want to fucking see him. <laughs> but, I mean, this is a real fucker. I've been looking for a lot of jobs lately, as you guys know. I'm just trying to kind of land that one and get back in the game into something comfortable again. And i just been burning through companies like they either don't pay or the trucks are bullshit or, you know, the, the equipment's in violation or just this and that and the other stinking thing. So, I ended up going back to this company that I'm at, um, that I'm going to right now, just because I know them, I trust them, they were a long ways away, that's why I'm way over here in the motel, because I gotta get the truck in the morning, and take it home, but, that's what I'm doing, man, going back to the trusted ones. Oh, and I want to just add here real quick, another little shifty thing I ran into. So I ran into this dude, everything sounded good, yada yada yada, right? And I went to look up his his stuff on the safer web after he finally gave me the name of his company and it looked really good i mean the fucker was clean right but i was looking at the address and i was like man i recognize that freaking address well there's this place in grand rapids that we all know not to work at i mean these people are fucking horrible their safer web thing is like 56 percent or something like that. They, they rip the drivers off. They steal your escrow. They just, they're just they just horrible. Everybody in the area knows about them. So with their, their, their out of service being so high. And the fact that all the drivers in the driver pool in that area know that they're fucking bullshit. Basically all they did is go get a different set of DOT numbers and start a different company. And they're running under a different name. It's the same people. You know, because it's the same address. So I ended up bombing out on that whole one too, but I almost fell for it.